All right. All right. This is your boy. KQKC Boxing Network. <laughs> That's right. Coming to you with another, another premiere. That's right, a premiere. You see, as I explained to you many, many times, the network here at KQKC, we are family. And today, I'm going to be with two families. My family, intermediate, intermediate family. I'm talking about my mom, my dad. I had to be with them at the doctor today. So I can't go live. So if you can't go live, you can't do your job. So what I said was, I'm going to give them a little something. And that way, I can hold them off until tomorrow morning when I do my live stream. See, I don't know about other creators. Like I told you yesterday, everybody runs a channel different. I care. I'm not saying they don't care. I'm not saying that. Let's don't get that shit started. But I care. I care about what you think about me. I care about what you think about my show. I care if you subscribe. I care you hit that like button. I care. This is showing you I care. And what makes it so bad? You still can send a super chat. You still can send a PayPal or cash app. And you know what? Another thing. We might be watching it together. I might be in the waiting room. I might be in the waiting room when this come on. Now, let's get to it. First of all, I want to thank everybody. Every damn body that got me over 3,000 subscribers. I want to thank everybody for their PayPal, Cash App, and Super Chat. I'm sorry. That's one thing I can't sing today. But I'm going to give it to you one time. And that <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. All right, let's get to it. Let's talk about it. Let's be about it. All right? Now, one time. Now, Ryan Ryan, Ryan got said. First of all, I'm getting tired of talking about this spoiled ass Burger King motherfucker, right? Now, he believes that Javante Tank Davis. If he don't fight him, if, if Tank don't fight Ryan, his legacy will be tainted. No, dumbass. No. You will be tainted. You already tainted. Huh? You already tainted. And the reason why I'm saying that is this. You ran. You are a mandatory, but you are protected. You are protected by a man that wore a dress, a man that ran all his uh, charges and protégés away for the bitchy attitude that he carries. So he had to reach over and go in somebody else's pocket that's not even from this country. That shows you that you will be tainted. You will be called that spoiled brat, that so-called Mr. Miyagi that never fought nobody, that never was a champion. I can't see you being a champion unless they pretty much hook it up, if you know what I mean, huh? <laughs> oh, somebody walk and talk with me, huh? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. This ain't from yesteryears. Like I told you yesterday. Like I told you the day before. Will the real boxers. <laughs> will the real boxers stand up? And I say to you. No they won't. They won't stand up. And let me tell you why. 
because they think those belts, they hit the motherfucking lottery. They don't want to let them go. And another thing, now this is all rolled up in one motherfucking blanket. Another thing, they don't want their reputation tarnished. They still want to talk that shit. They still want to walk that shit. But they ain't about that shit. Like some of these creators. Hello. <laughs> Hello. No bias here. I call it straight down the middle. You to I told you that. I told you yesterday. I told you yesterday that we, we, we can't get Javante Tank Davis. We can't get Devin Haney and Javante Davis. We can't get Lopez, Javante Davis, or Devin Haney. We cannot get the fights that we want. But then I told you. Oh, I told you. <laughs> yes, I told you. Well, we got Jamal. We got Benavidez. Jamal said he'd come to 168. He'd been calling out Benavidez for the longest. Benavidez said, hey, oh, you know what? I'll take your ass. And shout out to Blue Blood Sports. He said, no, 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 no. KQ, he didn't move that comment. He didn't delete it. He just moved it over to somebody else's page. Now, okay, that's good and fine and dandy. But why the fuck do that? You own that shit. Stand on that shit. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? You got to stand on that shit. You got to be about uh, that shit. But he didn't do that. He didn't do that. You see? Let me tell you the change in David Benavides. David Benavides said, no. Nah, no, 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 no. Time out. Hold up. Now, I don't know because his father said, hey, look, Charlo's our toughest uh, opponent. He's tougher than motherfucking Canelo. Matter of fact, he way tougher than Canelo. Now, that's not my words. Even though that's my favorite fighter, that's not my word. All right? I told you, I call it down the middle. I call it straight like a T.I. motherfucking tears. All right? Now, David Benavidez said, hold up, time the fuck out. Huh? He said, no, I want to, I want to face uh, uh, Kayla Plant first. That's what I want first. But you just called out Jamal. You said, oh, September will be a good date. Huh? We're going into February. Okay, I get it. You might want to fight in between. Okay, how about that? Huh? How about that? Okay. You want to tune up. All right? Now, Kellen Plant is not a tune up. Oh, trust me. <laughs> He's not a tune up. But if you think he is, go right ahead. Be my motherfucking guest. I'd like to see that fight too. What about you? Huh? What about you? Even though you change your mind, just like the, you change your goddamn draws, well, at least I hope. Then I said, okay, then we're going to get Charlo. Then we're going to get Charlo. We're going to get Charlo in September at the end of the summer. Oh, boy, way to start off the motherfucking fall, right? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Here come another Ryan. Here come another Ry Ry. Here come another rah rah. Here come another clout chaser. Here come another motherfucker Jamal had to chase. Y'all always ask the question. And first, wait, 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 wait. Let me let me reel this in a little bit. Walk with me. <laughs> Talk with me. Then David Vitavidas said, once I get plant, then I'm gonna wait on Canelo. Wait a minute. Hold up. David. Mr. Benavides, Junior, Senior, whoever. What about Jamal? The one you said you calling him out. You want him now. What about him? 
What about him? What did he do to deserve to say, no, I don't want to fight you? I tell you what he did. I tell you what he did. When he wins, he wins in high fashion. Huh? Do we, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me remind you for a minute. Do you remember this? Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Ronnie Shields. He won't bite off for that. And he is doing J. Rock. He won't bite off the rolling uppercut. Listen, Jamal, Ron, Ronnie Shields. Listen, Jamal. Keep throwing it when it's time. He will bite off of it. I know this fighter. I watched the fam over and over again. That's what good trainers do. That's what good trainers do. I just heard that Terrence Crawford watching, watching us. Ronnie Shields is watching us. Huh? They're not saying nothing. That's why they don't show up on the uh, 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 comments. They are watching us. They're hearing their name ring. They hear me being fucking honest. Then I say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He didn't say shit about Jamal. Then I think about when Ronnie said, keep on. Keep on throwing it. That rolling uppercut. Since Jamal found that sweet spot where Ronnie was talking about. He rolled with it. And Julian J. Rock went down like motherfucker Amir Khan. Drunk in a motherfucker. Knocked out cold. Didn't know where he was at. Didn't got up and say, Ooh, Woo, whoa, what was that? David Benavidez sit, sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there and sit, sat, motherfucker, catch a yellow cat. He sat there and said, no, 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 no. And, uh, uh, come, come to think of it, I, I don't want that action. No. Ooh, no. No, I just got back in the groove. Fuck Stella. I got my groove back. I got my groove back. And I'd be damned. I'd be damned. A 10 minute apart twin gonna whoop this ass this quick, this soon. I got some ass whooping to do myself, so I gotta put him on the back burner. So he said, I'm gonna wait on Canelo. That goes to show you all you naysayers, all you haters. Just because he said, Gov Gay might not be true. There's a lot of motherfuckers saying that. Stop acting like you personally invested. All right? Quit acting like you don't get paid. Stop acting like a Trump supporter and go in the motherfucking White House or the or, or State House and tear the bitch up because he said so. Huh? Stop being a fanboy and be a Boston fan. Don't get me fired up before I see motherfucking Dr. Chu. Huh? I'm about to chew his motherfucking head off. Now, like I said, where are the fighters at today? Where are they at today? Now, David Benavidez, gone in smoke. Don't want that smoke. Then you got the naysayers. You got the people that hate the state of Texas because Texas is rolling. Texas is the bomb. Texas is doing they motherfucking thing. You got Derry James. You got Ronnie Shears. You got the Jamal Charlo twins. You got Earl Spence. God damn it, you got Charles Hadley. You got, do I have to go on and on? Ring a roll. He got some of his tutelage from Dallas, Texas. Why? Because Hurricane Katrina drove his ass there. That's why. Ooh, hey, don't fuck with me. Because I told you, I told you, the real fighters, the real champions, 
the real number ones, the real number twos, the top five. They hiding on the cars. They hide in the bathrooms. They see Jamal or Jamel walk down the hall. They ducking in another room. They ducking in another office while they having class and shit. They gonna say, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, just wait a minute, okay? I'm waiting on somebody to walk past. You know how I call them? When you got to go. And chase somebody to make a fight. I call them bitches. That's what I call them. Hoes that don't got no moles. <laughs> wow. Step up and be accounted for. Step up and be a man. Step up and be a champion. See, let me tell you something. I told you before, you might remember. See, a champion, they don't have no any vocabulary. A champion wants the best there is in their division. Like I said about Canelo, oh, I dare to be great. I'm taking over 168. How the fuck are you taking over 168? And you won't even fight the top two guys at 168. Don't worry about Jamal. He's going to be at 168. If Canelo says, you want to fight, but you ain't, you ain't at 168, I guarantee he'll be at 168 the next day. Him and his brother been calling out Cinnamon for the longest. Where you at, Cinnamon? Where you at? You know where he was at? He was hiding under Oscar bed. That's where he was at. Bitch ass move. Bitch ass move from David Benavides. I repeat. I want to face Kellen Plan. But but thinks that he 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 gonna wait it out until he gets the Canelo fight. But what about the Jamal fight? You don't have to wait that out. You don't have to wait that out. All right, yes, Canelo is a free agent now. But Jamal Charlo is in your same stable, dumbass. Now, I hate to tell him that. I had to call him names. I kind of like the guy. But right now, you being a bitch. You being a hoe. You being a, 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 a sucker. You being a Lopez. You being a rye rye. A Burger King motherfucking crown wearing motherfucking hoe. That's what you being. Huh? Can anybody, can anybody say three motherfucking stooges? Larry, Curly, and motherfucking Moe. Sometimes chimp. Huh? Oh, <laughs> talk to me. Somebody talk to me. Because I ain't crazy. I'm not slow. I'm not stupid. Now, as I move on, i give you a little bit more. Bob Aaron lost the other mind that we thought he had. Now he'll have no minds. They all are haywired. They both uh, 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 had lost their zest of functioning. He see now. He cannot control his bowels. He cannot control his thinking. He has what we call a dimension slash all time and slash asshole slash dumbass. Now, Bob Aaron and Blue Black, Terrence Crawford. I know you heard it. You heard it before, but you didn't hear it from me. And you didn't hear it this way from me. Bob Aaron, he believes that Earl Spence is holding up the fight between him and Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford believes he's ducking him. Why the fuck would he want to duck you? You see that thumbnail up there? Oh, you see it, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. It was Bob Aaron. Or oh, let me put it this way. No, no. It was Terrence Crawford 
and Earl Spence. Now, I don't know about you, but I see one belt on Terrence. I see two belts on, 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 on Earl. Hello? Max Callerman. The one that think he know about sports. The Jim Lampley of ESPN. Even his dumb ass. Where the, even his goddamn country trailer park ass. Huh? He said, and I quote, and a motherfucking I quote. Let's be realistic here now, Terrence. Find your way, dumbass. Confide in somebody or more than a motherfucking fat ass that all he like to do is eat. He believes eating is his orgasm of life. He believes that eating is better than having sex with a woman. He believes that eating is the best thing you can do in life. He believes that eating is living. That is the life. That's the ultimate trip that he would like to take once he get married is go eat. This the motherfucker Terrence Crawford is listening to. The same, the same Big Mac we've been talking about for months. Now, they feed into this narrative. And yes, you Bud fans, you feed into it too. Every time, every time I think about what you say, it's so asinine that that I I I I just want to pull out my hair, but I forgot I ain't got none. You remind me of a Trump supporter. You believe the lies. You believe the 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 the, the excuses. But you don't want to face reality. Did you go on? Did you go on? Did you go on and saying what uh, Terrence Crawford had done in his career? Who gives a fuck at this point in time? We are not talking about resumes. We are not talking about what he did in the Golden Gloves. We are not talking about how he got kicked out of the Olympics. That's why he got kicked out. You know why? For having the same attitude that he got today. Oh, wait. I know his wife is going through some shit. You can't satisfy some people. You can't satisfy a bitchified person. I'm sorry. I told you. This ain't for the faint of hearts. And I'll tell you again tomorrow morning on my call-in show at 10.30 a.m. Central motherfucking time. I'll tell you right now. Earl Spence don't have to duck anybody. Do you realize... Do you really realize that Terrence Crawford had two, only two, pay-per-views? Do you realize Earl had three and sold them all out? Or oh, let me put it this way. He was up in the 300,000 or million mark. Oh, little Terrence, little Terrence, little Terrence. You can sell out a paper bag. A paper bag. That's a strike on you right there. You got one belt, he got two. That's another strike. He has done more than you have. That's another strike. Huh? Oh, my God. Y'all not listening to me? Now, Max Kalman. He was right. Crawford, stop with the, the dumb A-side shit. Now, he said 60-40 your way. You can't compare yourself to Spence. This is not my words. This is Max Kellerman, the dumbass in sports, the dumbass for ESPN, the robot for ESPN. Hello? My, uh, 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 I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Oh, did I hurt y'all feelings? Because if I did, I'm sorry. But I have to tell the truth. And plus, I don't give a fuck. 
Terrence Crawford hasn't done a damn thing at 147. Now, people say, well, he got a belt. It's a WBO belt. What's a WBO belt? In layman terms. Paid and bought for by none other than top rank. You see, Terrence Crawford sat there. He thought his ass didn't stink. But his ass was like Toby. His ass did stink. His ass didn't bath. His ass did sleep on a damn straw bed. His ass did try to take off and run. Stop. Stop. Stop, Bud fans. Stop reciting resumes. Stop, Bud fans. Oh, he can switch from South Park to Orthodox. Who gives a shit? Everybody's doing that now. Boo says everybody's doing it. Why? Because that's what they're teaching. From the amateurs to the pros. That's what they are teaching. Wake the fuck up. You see, the reason why Earl is doing what Earl does is for this simple fact. He still is hungry. He still has that drive. He still have his battery charged. And of course, and of course, just like everything in life, you got the haters. Don't be a fanboy. Be a boxing fan. Say yes. Bud Crawford is my favorite fighter. But yes, Bud gonna have to realize this ain't 140 no more. This ain't Kansas, Dorothy. You got to wake up and smell the motherfucking coffee. David Benavides, you got to wake up and smell the motherfucking coffee. Y'all ask me time and time and time again. Why don't Jamel fight such and such? Who Jamel fought lately? Who has Jamel fought with a name? I can tell you. Honestly, I can tell you. Nobody. And I can honestly tell you why. They run it. They don't want no parts of it. Just like Mike Tyson. He was knocking out everybody. Not like Deontay Wilder with one punch, one knockout, and one win. No, 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 no. He didn't knock him out, but it'll take one and what? Four punches? And they gone? Then I'll tell you why I don't want to take one. But then the opponent said, Who? Who on the phone? Well, Mike Tyson advisor. Oh, no. Oh, I ain't here. Huh. Oh, who on the phone? Al Hammond. He want to talk to you about Jamal Charlo. I ain't here. Hey, who on the phone? Earl Spence advisor, Al Hammond. Oh, I ain't here. Did you follow me? Walk with me. Oh, talk with me. Please. <laughs> oh, please. <whistles> yeah, yeah, yeah. Walk with me. Talk with me. Grind with me. You see, the hardest worker, the blood, sweat, and tears, if I could quote the great Floyd, Joy, Mayweather Jr. The blood, sweat, and tears only come around so often. The blood, sweat, and tears only come by so often. The blood, and sweat, and tears, and the seriousness only comes once in a blue moon. Everybody want to still talk about Deontay Wilder and Glove Gate. Deontay Wilder's probably saying, God damn, leave it alone. All right? We have done that. We have talked about that. We have done things about that. They didn't come out. It didn't come to fruition. Leave it alone and move the fuck on. Don't y'all got something else to talk about? Huh? How many other fighters there is? How many weight classes there is? Move the fuck on. We know what happened. We know what happened. 
But but you don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about something that's controversy. Huh? I'm giving you controversy now. Canelo's running. Canelo's not meeting uh, 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 his expectations. And that's that. All the Hispanics, you can cry, you can see this and say that. You're biased and racist. No. Like my channel. I'm just like my channel. Everybody's welcome. No matter what nationality. No matter what you've been through. You're welcome to state your opinion. You are welcome to say what you have to say. Keep that in mind. I can go on and on about this shit all day long. Look at King Rai Rai. Mr. Instagram himself. Ask me, ask me, ask me how many fighters are on his page. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I've seen maybe three. And those are amateurs. You see, and one was a pro, and one was really uh, 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 not even a top ten. I'm sorry, Mr. Miyagi, son. I'm sorry, Daniel, son. I'm sorry, Mr. King, right, right. You got a silver belt, and you acting like you got a gold. You trying to call out shots. And Roly, and roll, 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 motherfucking Roly, stop. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I put on a great performance. Now everybody gonna run from me. Are you kidding me? You got kindergartens running up to your, uh, your, your no boxing ass. Wanna fight you. Kindergarten. They wanna whoop your ass. And you proud that you fall, not the first one you're supposed to fight, not the second one you're supposed to fight, but the third one. And you proud? You proud? And Javante Davis walked in the floor, man, with a pro, uh, uh, boxing club, and you sat there like a bitch after he called you a punk-ass bitch. Get the fuck out. You're not in this equation. Dev Haney, we can ball, we can cry, we can stomp our feet, but it's not going to change anything. Why? Because it's the WBC. Who are they? They are scammers. They, 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 they are liars. They are crooks. They look out for their own when they must be looking out for everybody. Oh, I remember. I remember when Desern, she got her belts back, except for one person she didn't get her belt back from. And you know who that was? That was the WBC. The WBC said, wait a minute, let's see what Jimenez have to say. She dropped dirty twice. What the fuck she got to say, but get the fuck out of town. That's what you should have told her. And give me that belt back, ho. Or, or bitch, man, or woman. Choose your preference. She's all of the above. I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry. I told you I call it down the line. Now, Adrian Broner, he's back. Oh, Junior the Truth, which I can give him praises. I cannot. Because he fucked up his prime. Then he had a nerve to get mad yesterday when a fan asked his dumb ass. Why don't you let your hands go just a little bit more? Do you get mad? Sometimes the truth hurt, don't it? Sometimes the truth hurt it, don't it? Don't fuck around and give KQKC a motherfucking pass, a press pass. 
I will go in on every motherfucking body and I will take turns. Then as they carry my ass out on all fours, I will be spitting that fire as I go out the door into that paddy wagon. Hello. Shit. Now, as I move on, the heavyweight action. Everybody want to make predictions. Every heavyweight want to talk about who going to win or who ain't going to win or this going to be a fight or this ain't going to be a fight. But they ass ain't even fighting. Huh? To calm. To calm say he want to fight Deontay Wilder. We talking about to calm wild man. We talking about to calm unorthodox fighter. We talking about to calm a journey fucking man. Want to fight Deontay Wilder. Now, I will admit this because I, I, I know a little bit about boxing. He throw punches like Javier Fortuna. You don't know which direction they coming. So you better put up your guard and hold that phone or whatever you, you need to do to protect yourself. How you think Javier Fortuna got on the map? By throwing no look Motherfucking passes, if you know what I mean, if you know the scenario, if you know the example I'm setting. Oh, don't worry, people. I can imagine you saying right now. Right now, I can imagine you saying, KQ, KC, stay on their necks. Stay on their necks. No, I'm going to stand on their head. I'm going to stand on their head like Bob Aaron. As I told you a few minutes ago about Bob Aaron, what it boils down to it, he lied. He do what Bob Aaron been doing for 30 years. Earl Spence called him out and said, lie, 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 lie. He ain't talked to no Al Heyman. Al Heyman said, don't worry about it. Well, he didn't say that, but I'm saying he would have said that. Al Hamer said, no, no, don't worry about it, Bob. Mr. Aaron. Mr. Flat Ass. Mr. Shit Ass. Mr. Pample Bob. Don't worry about it. I got Earl. Make sure you got Terrence. And we're going to make this fight tomorrow. But see, what it boils down to is Bob don't want his ass. Bob don't want to spend no money on his ass. Bob going to ride this out to his contract is up. Then Bob will say, you know what? You got to go. You got to get out of here. You don't have to go home. But you got to get the fuck out of here. You got to get the fuck out of here. You see what I'm saying? My brothers and sisters. You see what I've been saying for 40 minutes. Where, where are the real champions? Line them bitches up. And do like they do in the Marines. Line it up. Put your toes on the line. Then you go right down the motherfucking middle. Put your belt up. Put your belt on your strap like you always do, taking the pictures. All right? Then you walk your ass. No, no, I I'm going to walk you. I'm going to walk down the line. Why you not fighting him? Y'all in the same weight class. You got a silver belt. He got a gold. You his mandatory. Why y'all ain't fighting? When is the fight? Let's make the fight happen. Don't we deserve that, people? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me start over. Let me start over. Let me start from the beginning. Everybody have a belt on their strap or a strap on, 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 on their shoulder. They're taking a picture with it. Do you understand me? There's so many fights out there that can't be made. They're actually, they're making a mockery out of boxing. Ain't that right, rah, rah? 
Ryan Garcia made a mockery out of boxing. He used Mike Tyson platform. He used Javante Davis name. And he used Manny Pacquiao experience and notoriety. And guess what? He came up with the zero. A zero for motherfucker Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, and they motherfucking Instagram followers. A zero for the hero. You better be careful who you put your stock into. You better be careful who you follow. Because, see, you might just get disappointed. You see, you might get what Rye Rye just gave y'all dumb asses. Huh? And I'm talking about uh, Ryan Garcia fans. Oh, I like Ryan. Okay, I like him too. He's a kid. He's a kid trying to do what grown folks do. But see, grown folks can back that shit up. Can you? Can you? And let me answer that real fast. Fuck no. Was that fast enough? Hell no. Was that fast enough? The challenges that may be. When the storm stops storming. The rain stops trickling. When we see the royal fights. And the real fighters. The real champions. Get in there and fight. No we won't. He's lowballing me. So I don't want to fight him. Well, he lowballing you because he don't want to fight your ass because he know he can't win. The same with the motherfucker, student like teacher, teacher like student. Promoter like protege. Promoter like fighter. Earl not messing up anything. Bob Aaron is. See, 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 everybody's saying, well, Terrence Crawford just don't want to fight nobody. But, but listen, Terrence Crawford can't scratch his ass without asking Bob Aaron. And Bob Aaron's already told you over and over and over and over again. I'm sorry. I messed up the Pacquiao fight. I did it on purpose. And now, the coronavirus. You see? And that's why the low passes, junior and drunk ass senior. That's why they say, okay, well, Devin Haney might be next. We probably go ahead and get Devin Haney. Why? Because Cambosa. Can't get his ass over here, and you can't get your ass over there. So guess what? Well, I guess we'll take Devin then. But you know what, Devin? Fuck him. Go ahead and fight Javier Fortuna. You keep going on your road. You keep going straight. Bill, shut the fuck up. All right? Devin, do what you have to do. Only the strong will survive, people. Only the strong will come out shining. Only the real champions will go in the Hall of Fame. If Manny Pacquiao keep this shit up, called Keep Away, he'll be in the Hall of Fame, no doubt about it, eight division champion, no doubt about it, but you will end up having an asterisk by your name. Now, Take your choice. Which one is it? Why he got that action by his name? Is it because his head got bigger all of a sudden? He wasn't scared of needles. But then again, lately, he was. You see how a lie turns into a bigger lie, Eddie? You haven't took over America. You have fucked over America. You have scammed America. Hey, uh, uh, Demetrius Andre, he's sitting over there at the zone right now trying to read a magazine, trying to stay busy, twiddling his thumbs, running maybe two miles, 
just to stay busy. No, a fight that he really, really won't, he can't really, really motherfucking have. Huh? I'm sorry. I just call it down the line, people. That's what I do. That's who I am. That's what I represent. I'm sorry. I thought we had a fight between David Benavides and Jamal Charlo, but it seems like we don't. It seems like they all want to uh, 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 slap us in the face with the ding a -ling. Always won't play with my ding a ling a ling, my ding a ling a ling, my ding a ling a ling. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh. Oh, yes, the year's gone. Yes, the year's gone. Bye. Where it went, we don't know. But I tell you today, yes, I have to admit, we have young champions. See, when you're young, you're dumb. And you know what you're full of. You don't have the right decision-making skills. That's why the drinking age is 21. A woman matures faster than a man. That's why Carissa Shields say, fuck this boxing shit. They discriminate against the women. Black, white, Chinese, whatever you want to call it. At least MMA would give you a chance. You might not make much money, but at least you're active. At least you're fighting. At least you get your name out there. How motherfucking low? Huh? How low can you go? Death row? What a brother knows. Huh? But it's no reason. There's no reason we can't see and have the fight. What's standing in the way? What's standing in the way? Don't give me this A cross the street shit. Don't give me this A side, B side. How about best fight the best? Huh? I take that any day. Once again, Sean Porter is right. I'm worth a little bit more than a million dollars. You see, sometimes teams do that to you. See, sometimes teams will do that to you. Why? To shut you down. Sometimes teams will do that to you. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because they know they can't beat you. They know they can't beat you, so they know you're going to say no. They already knew that Sean Porter was going to say no before he said no. They knew Earl Spence wasn't going to go for no 60, 40, 10 straw away. That's what they were hoping for. See, y'all look at the shit all wrong. Sometimes you got to think. It's just like a detective. You got to think like a thief. You got to act or think like a rapist would think. Huh? Hello? Hello? Hello, people? I'm just giving to you straight. I'm just giving to you. I'm just giving you facts. That's all it is. Facts. The sport of boxing. It does. It does rings out loud. It does still have great fans, great fighters, great referees. And yes, believe it or not, great judges, great line judges. But no. This ducking shit got to stop. Step up, be a man, and say, yes, I want to fight Devin Haney. But right now, I can't say that I'm ready for him. 
I can't guarantee you a win. I can't not talk shit because I don't think I'm ready to talk it and bag it up. Be a man. Be a man. Don't wait till after the fight and say, oh, well, the better man won. I mean, yes, that's good sportsmanship. Yes, I get that shit. But if you know you can't win, shut the fuck up. Lopez, you knew you can't win. Against a Devin Haney? Against a Javante Tank Davis? We know you're a one-dimensional fighter. You fight the same every fight you fight. Leo Santa Cruz, he tried that 100 punches per round. He saw the uppercut coming all, all through the fight up to that point. Where was your daddy? Where was your team? Telling you this. I don't give a fuck if it was on English or Spanish. Why they didn't tell you? Be careful. Watch for that uppercut. Keep your distance. Use your reach and keep him at the end of that jab. Keep him at bay. Don't let him get closer. What did he do? He bagged himself up. He put himself in a corner. Then Javante Davis set a trap. Then damn, pop goes the motherfucking weasel. That's what happened. Pop goes the weasel. That's what happened. Oh, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. Fighters like that should be fighting the best. Devin Haney, he got lateral movement. He will punch, get in, and he will get out. He will make you look bad than what you are. He will take you to school like Floyd took uh, Canelo to school. That's what needs to be done. That's a fight that needs to be made. Did you have Teal Phil Lower Pass? Undisputed champion. Not unificated, but undisputed. According to Mr. Suleiman. It's not over to the fat lady sing, and that bitch ain't sung yet. At least I can't hear it. Hello? Then you got David Benavidez. You got Canelo Everest. You got Billy Joe Saunders. They said that Canelo going to be fighting him next after you're done. You're done the punching bag of the Canelo Everest punching camp. The friend of all no friends. Hey, friend, I'm high about a payday. I'm going to get you a payday. All right, me and you, we're going to fight next. How about that? They talk to each other on the phone. Just like Bo Matt used to talk on the phone with that grease on the pillow. Remember what you doing? Oh, nothing. Huh? Let a motherfucker call me and ask me, Hey, KQ, what you doing? Motherfucker, I'm trying to sleep. What you doing? Oh, motherfucker, I got a woman over here. What you doing? What you want? Huh? Oh, oh, man, 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 man. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Just a little something for you. We're going to continue this tomorrow. 10.30 a.m. Central Time. I appreciate everybody. I know. I know this is a premiere. But I appreciate you. I just wanted to give you a little taste. Just a little taste to get you a little thirsty. I want you to be thirsty tomorrow. I am KQKC Boxing Network. I come straight out of the LDBC, the Locals Lion Den Boxing Community. I come on Monday through Friday. 
That's 12.30 p.m. Central Time. Yes. Oh, yes. I do have a call-in morning show on Saturday mornings at 10.30. That's a.m. Central Time. Oh, I'll be there. And I also, I also will be calling a fight tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, I do that too. Yes, I have one day off, and that's Sundays. Unless an issue come up like now. Well, I have to be the eyes and the ears of my mother and father. I'm all they got. And on this YouTube thing, on this creator thing, on this boxing network, you all I got. And I appreciate you. I appreciate the super chats if you sent me some. I appreciate the cash app, the PayPal. Thank you. Now, I greet you with the ancient word of peace. Assalamu alaikum. That means peace be with you. But as always, like I say, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to that Shot Town Finest, Underground Asylum, and me, KQKC, Boston Network. No. Our description. Our email is right there where it says show more. Easy to find. So I thank you all for your time and patience. I thank you all for my absence. I thank you all for showing the thumbs up and the likes. I thank you all for the comments. I thank you all for showing leadership qualities in every one of you all. I thank you all for your loyalty. I thank you all for sharing the videos. So with that, I'm going to have to move on. I had to go get this doctor a piece of my motherfucking mind. So with that, shout out to the almighty LDBC. And I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace 